A while back I did a video called Tropical Sunrise and it was a collaboration with Anthony Gray of Grayscale Painting. Uh, we had a really good time with this and so it's been requested that I show this one again on my channel. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, my name is Jovette. If you haven't seen me before, I'm glad you're here today. Let's just go get started. Okay, this is just quickly to show you uh, my colors. I'm going to have them all listed in the description below. And um, the supplies, I might use a small knife, a larger knife, a filbert brush, a fan brush, maybe a liner, and my one inch landscape brush. Okay, I have my canvas here. It is 12 by 16. It's a flat panel canvas board. My paints are ready, my brushes are ready, everything is ready. So I'm going to start by just applying oil medium. Now you guys know that I like oil medium. Um, you can use any oil medium. It can be walnut oil, it can be any kind that you have as long as it's clear. So all I want to do is go over the top of the canvas and make sure that I have it all wet. Make sure that there's no dull spots. Everything is nice and shiny. I gotta tell you, when I, when I first saw this painting, I absolutely fell in love with it. The reason was because it reminded me of my past. Um, some of you already know, I was a men's hairstylist for over 30 years. <laughs> and um, when, during that time, we used to have seminars, at, oh, lots of different places, but one of the places was Hawaii. And that was one of my very favorite. I just dearly love Hawaii. And so anytime I got a chance to go there, boy, I'd hop on that. My husband and I had the best times in Hawaii and uh, just really memorable times. So it's one of my favorite places in the whole world. <laughs> so anyway, I wonder if you've any, ever been to Hawaii, any of you? Okay, let's get started here. Now, I, want, I did not mention this brush. This is, a, um, this is a floral brush, but it's my old scrubby brush. And I love this brush for just doing stuff, you know, that I'm, that's unimportant. And so I thought, well, you know, this is a great brush for doing this undercoating. So uh, what I want to do is start out with just Indian yellow. Just load both sides of the brush and here would be about center. So actually I want to come down just a little bit below center. So it'd be right in this area. Now I don't want this too heavy. I don't want it extremely heavy. But I do want it enough on here that it's going to coat. So I love this old scrubby brush because I can just do anything with it. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Without cleaning the brush, I'm going to go into just red medium. CAD red medium. And this time, I'm going to go above the yellow, like so. I'm also going to go below the yellow. Okay, now before I get too far, what I want to do is blend this out. So I'm going to just start by doing, see these X's? Just crisscross strokes. We'll come back with another brush in a minute, but this is how we're going to start. There we go. Okay, now I want to go into blue. I'm not cleaning the brush, I'm just wiping it off. Now I'm going into the phthalo blue. I'm going to start in the middle here and come out. I love phthalo blue. Blue, phthalo blue is not as strong as Prussian blue. Normally I would use Prussian blue, but um, not this time. This, ha this has a, um, oh, it's kind of a cooler tone. It's a, phthalo blue is a beautiful uh, blue color. Phthalo green is gorgeous too. 
I'm going to go down here also. Okay, so there, that's good. Just wipe that blue out of the brush. And now start your crisscross strokes into the red. We're just blending that out some. Blending the two together. Okay, now up in these upper corners, I want to darken ever so slightly. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little black. Doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit. A little more black in the other corner. And what that does is it just kind of draws your eye in some. Okay, that's good. And then let's do the same thing down in the bottom. I'm going to wipe that brush off, set it aside for the minute, and I'm going to go in. I also have a little scrubby that's just a little bit smaller, and so I'm going to use this one. Now this is clean, so I'm going to go into white, and right in here I want to make this really white. We're going to blend this out in a minute, but I just want to get a little bit of a, oops, wipe that out. See how that picks up that yellow? Um, you need to keep wiping your brush, especially working with white. Now my little workhorse. <laughs> this is my, my uh, one inch landscape brush. I love this brush. Okay, so we're going to start in the yellow part. And just start blending. Now this is where these colors will really, really start to fuse together. See I'm doing X's, crisscross. This is my slow motion mode. <laughs> oh, I know I get a lot of comments. Some people, they just hate slow. And I'm a slow person. I'm not at all fast. <laughs> but. Um, some people make comments that they really love my slow method of teaching and other people just don't like it at all. So I, there's nothing I can do. I'm just, I'm just a slow person. That's all I can say. <laughs> but see how nice that's blending? And you can blend this as much or as little as you want until you like the effect that it's giving you. Okay, now, and once we've done the light colors, we start going into the blue. And this is where you really start to kind of get that purplish feel. And I'm coming up just a little bit on the sides here. Anyway, now we're going to go to the top. And again, crisscross, blend the blue into the red. And you can see already, this is just becoming gorgeous. And don't worry about these little, you know, little brush pieces come off every once in a while. And that's kind of natural with brushes, especially working with canvas. That's why I like to work on a smooth canvas. Um, I like to sand and gesso them maybe once or twice so that um, so that it doesn't abuse the brushes so much. But these little hairs, once it's drying, it, they'll come off really easy. So e even after it's dry, you can sometimes just take a little needle or something and just pull it out. There, isn't that pretty? So I'm just going into my thinner. I'm just lightly and then tapping on the side. Let's do some clouds. Um, set that brush aside. I'm going to go into my filbert brush and I'm going to go into white again. 
and let's just let's just start anywhere and this is going to pick up a lot of blue real fast so you want to wipe it off frequently and just blend and just clouds are so free and easy you can just do anything with them you can go anywhere with them We'll blend this out in just a minute, but let's just get a few clouds in here. And if you don't want any clouds in your painting, don't bother to put any in. It's not necessary. Only if you want clouds. <laughs> okay, that's good. Set that brush aside now. Go back into your blending brush. Now your light is down here, so that's where it would be. You would see most of your white underneath here. So just start blending here. Blend left, right, do circles, do whatever makes you happy. <laughs> There is no right or wrong with clouds. That's enough clouds for my painting. Now you may want more. You may not want any. Okay, set the one inch brush aside. Next, let's just draw sort of an imaginary line. I think I'll do that with my uh, filbert. So a little, let's see, a little brown a little blue and a little black. And we'll just sort of make a little color here. Okay, that's probably good. All I want to do is just draw my basic line. So, horizon line, probably right in here, just below center, probably right about in here. I'm just going to draw a little bit here. And I think we'll come down a little bit here. Now this is just kind of sketching. And if you don't want to use this darker color, then use something very, very light. So I'm going to come down. Let's, let's say we got a little peak here. And then it comes down. How about right there? And on this side, I want to come in a little bit, maybe with both of these. Okay, that's probably good right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you have the idea what we're going to do. Just a few little mountains. One of the favorite things I did in Hawaii, there was a place called the Mongolian Stir Fry. And I guess they have those in the States too. I've not seen one, but I understand that they, they are here. I'll tell you, that is some of the best food in the world. It's just like they, you go down the line and you just pick out all these wonderful things that you want to eat, whether it's meat or vegetables, no matter what it is. And then you just put it, they, they put it all on this great big grill and uh, <laughs> they just cook it up for you. And it's just wonderful. Okay, now I'm building a little bit darker color. I'm going to start in the back here. And come down. Uh, 
all the way to the waterline. And I'm not reloading the brush because as I get closer to the center, I want it to start lightening up and it's going to pick up some of this yellow color and automatically start lightening. Just like that. See how that's darker and this is lighter? And as we come towards the back, we're going to get darker. Okay, I want to take a little bit of um, yellow ochre and I want to just start putting some light in here. because this mountain would definitely be picking up some of the light. And let's do the other side. And a little more ochre because it would be hitting over here also. And next I want to go into even something lighter. Uh, let's add some white to this ochre. And just hit here and there. You're just giving a suggestion. and let it be dark over here. Again, going into that lighter color. And let's go in here some. And back here. I sometimes get kind of quiet when I paint. I hope that doesn't bother you <laughs> because I get to concentrating so much. Okay, I think that's good. And then the last thing I want to do is grab my knife, my trusty old knife, and um, let's go into Let's see, some white and um, yellow and some ochre. There, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm going to use the small. Um, instead of the large end of the, the large side of the knife, I'm going to use this smaller side. I can get into tinier places that way. And all I want to do is barely, barely, barely touch. Just the light would just hit here and there. Let's do a little more of that. Oh, this is very cool. See, if it gets too light in some places, just work it out. Just sort of blend it in with your knife. And let's do the other side.
and a little bit more on the taller mountain. I'm just doing little bits at a time, not doing the traditional big long sweep. <laughs> oh, okay, I like this. This is, this is coming along very nicely. Just a little bit of highlight over here. Very tiny bit. Uh, this color, a little blue, black, red. Just sort of mix that up. Tiny bit of white there. That's a nice dark color. Okay. I don't want this too heavy on my brush, so I'm going to give it a little squeeze. And then I'm going to start working on these shadows. So a little paint. And what I want to do is go here. This would be down about here. This one would be down about here. This would be down about here. And in between, like so. And let's do this other part here. This would be coming down, 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 little hump here. And just kind of fill it in. And just kind of uh, fuzz up that little edge some. And that looks pretty good. Now the reason I'm bringing it down now, coming backwards like this, is that I'm just picking up any loose paint. Okay, let's do that other side. Right here, It'll be right about here. Fuzz it up a little bit, a little more paint, and this would be down here. There. That is going to be nice. Okay, wipe the brush off and come back. Take off any excess paint. Good. Okay. Now I want to take this big, <laughs> this big <laughs> one inch brush and just let's just lightly, lightly go across. And this is going to make it blurry so that it's more like reflections. Do not go into this part. And then go wipe and then go to the other side and this time you start on the outside edge. Come back. I'm very I'm touching just very, very lightly. Just barely touching at all. That is turning out so nice. I like it. I'm going to carry this across right here. 
ever so lightly. Okay, next I'm going to go into just plain white again. I'm going to go right into here and I am just turning my brush. And there is my sun. It didn't come out all the way around, so I'm going to do it again. So I'm wiping off. Okay, this time I'm going to go the other way. I'm just putting my brush in, keeping it in one place, and just turning. And then, now this is so light, just barely touching. See, it still looks like that sun is there peeking out behind. I love that. <laughs> okay, that's good. I'm going to leave that, put that brush aside again. What else can we do? Let's see, we need water lines. Back to my, um, my knife. I'm going to go in and pull out some white. And I'm going to also pull out just a dab of ochre. I don't want a pure white line. That's probably good. Okay, now I don't know if you can see my palette over there. What I'm doing is I'm just... I put my, uh, my knife is clean, pretty clean. <laughs> okay, put my knife in, pull, and cut across. That gives me a perfect roll. So every time I say I'm going to get a little roll of paint, that's exactly what I'm doing. When I do these water lines, I'm going to put the heel of my knife in first. And I'm touching, but I'm not, see, see, no paint's coming off. I'm just touching. And as I move this way, I'm going to lower my knife some, and it will make watermarks. I'm going to do that again, get a little roll of paint. This time I'm on this side, I'm putting the toe down. Now if you're right-handed, you would be doing the exact opposite. You would be putting the toe down here and the heel down over here. So you have to remember that as a right-hander. Okay, touch. And as I make my mark, I'm going to start coming down, a little more pressure, there. And you just want to make a few watermarks here and there, just enough to make sure that it feels like water. Now, um, I don't know if any of you have what's called a bunny brush. This is just, boy, it's like, it's like rabbit hair. It is the softest, softest brush. And um, I like to use this brush over the water because it just takes the ridges off. That's it. That's all I want to do. Just that tiny little bit. Okay, next. Ooh, the fun part. <laughs> We're going to do, uh, let's see, we're going to do the trees, the uh, palm trees. So our ground area is right in here. Uh, we'll have one palm tree coming right about here, one coming over here. So I'm going to go into brown. This time I'm just using plain dark brown. You, any dark brown that you have. It can be Van Dyke brown, it can be raw umber, burnt sienna, any dark brown that you have. Okay, I'm going to start, let's start up here. Right about here, because that'll be nice. And I'm pressing as I come down. I want to do that again. 
same spot. There. Oh, perfect. Let's do one more. Coming over this way. There, that's great. Okay, now I want to go into, uh, let's see, I want a perfect fan brush. Let's try, not that one, let's do this one. So this dark brown, I want to get more, I want to first get my, dip in, here, dip into the thinner, touch, and go over to where your brown pile was. It can be brown, gray, whatever. Add some more brown and add green because we need a dark green, kind of an olive color. And if you want, you can even add black to make it even darker. There, I like that. This can probably part, be part of our um, ground cover too. So let's start out, we'll have this tree behind. <clears throat> Since that one is going to be behind, let's just go ahead and make a mark. These are just my limbs, palm, limb, palm, palm branches. <laughs> Maybe there'll be a little one out here. Put the paint on the tips of the brush and go in and let's just, you touch and pull. Touch and pull. Oop. Touch and pull. Now, doesn't that turn out nice? Let's see these. Let's have them coming this way. And I notice that my they're not all the same length. Some are longer, some are shorter. I love doing palm trees. They're fun. You can just stick them anywhere. Sometimes it's nice to have two right, let's have another one right here. That's good. I like that. Okay, let's do the one next to it. <clears throat> let's have one coming right out the top here. Let's, let's do this one here. Let's do it like this. Like he's coming way up high. Okay, let's do another one over here. I think we'll have a short one in here. And how about one over here? One down here. And this you, it's almost like an airplane taking off. You just uh, you put your brush down and you give it a little pressure, and as you as you you give it that pressure and then you lift just like an airplane taking off. You can put the line in first if that helps you. I've done enough of them where I don't really need that. But if I wanted to, I could put that down here. Let's make a nice long one. There, oh cool. A little short one here. A little short one here. Yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, a little bit of brown. And then take the tip right here, dip it into a little ochre. Because palm trees a lot of times have like nuts, big round coconut things. 
and so you just want to put some of that in there. Again, I want to dip into my med uh, my uh, thinner, thinning out the brush. I don't want too much water in there. And this time, let's go into some yellow and green. And I want a lighter yellow this time, because this is going to be a highlight. This is kind of scary. If you don't want to do this, don't do it, because it's beautiful the way it is. It really is gorgeous the way it is. Probably hit on this one. Maybe a little backlit here, maybe here. So you're just highlighting just the tiniest little bit. Mm-hmm, I like that. I think that's all I'm going to do. And I want to go into some yellow ochre with a little bit of light, white or light, a whiter, lighter color. And we're just going to barely, barely, barely touch the edges here. A little more of that. We'll do some on this side. And we may come back and do a little bit more highlighting right there, but also what I want to do is grab some white little bit of white and a tiny bit of blue there and this time this is backlighting just a hint of blue back there There. If you guys are enjoying this and this is your first time here, I, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go into that old scrubby brush, this one. And I'm going to go back into this dark brown greenish color. And I want to go ahead and just start tapping in here. We're going to make some grasses. Let's get more brown. This would be dark. Let's come in this side. Blacken these corners a little bit. You want them really dark. See, I have, you have no idea what's living on this island. There, I like that. Okay. Uh, I want to add some grasses. So back to this fan brush and go in just a little bit of thinner, tiny bit of thinner on the tip down here and go into this dark color and we're just going to add like a few wispies, like grasses. Have them, some of them going this way and some this way. They grow every which way. You just want it kind of wild looking, rough, wild. I don't know, do you think some flowers would be pretty in here? little bit of color. I think that'd be pretty. I think some rocks would be pretty too. Let's go ahead and do some rocks. With my knife, 
and the small I'm going to use the small edge because there's not really much room down here you know what before I do that I'm going to take some yellow and lighten this up because our light would be here so we really need to have it a little bit lighter just right there okay so let's grab some brown maybe a little ochre let's go right in this pile here and oh maybe some white too even some red and maybe some blue there that's interesting I like that let's see what we do with that touching always cut touching the heel first make a little a little mark here like there's a stone or something living there maybe there's one over here I'm just sort of blending in that bottom let's do one more right in here there yeah that's pretty it's just enough now I want to just lightly slightly slightly highlight it very very light touch I'm just like barely touching <laughs> I think that's good yeah and just a touch of thinner on there how about some red on one side white on the other let's see what we come up with here oh yeah okay blot let's pick up some yellow and uh, white and just a couple of little yellow ones when it's dry I'm going to add some birds I don't know where yet but I'm going to add some birds because I just that's one of my signature things <laughs> I love to add birds and I also need to sign it but I'm going to do that later I did this one earlier today it's a gallery wrap and I love this one I thought this just turned out beautiful and it will look a lot different when it's uh, when it's dried and the glare isn't on it I find it easiest to do the birds afterwards because um, sometimes you make a big boo-boo and if you do it when the paints wet you, it, there's, it's impossible to get it off so this one is very wet I just did it a few hours ago just for fun now wasn't that a fun painting I hope you all try it and here's a couple of other videos that you might enjoy thank you for joining me today see you next time bye